Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. As Earth has encountered many different changes, animals are trying to adapt to the condition. And one way they do this is through crossbreeding. Crossbreeding is the strengthening of the genes of one animal by breeding with a stronger mate of another animal. Sometimes, these strange animal mating partners are a result of nature, and other times, they're a human-made match. Scientists call the process somatic hybridization, and it allows them to manipulate genes to create a new species with useful traits from both parents. Today, we are looking at 10 hybrid animals that actually exist. Number one will definitely shock you, so watch out for that. Liger. The offspring of a male lion and a female tiger, the liger is probably the most famous hybrid animal of all and the largest of the big cats. Ligers are usually much bigger than either parent. The largest non-obese liger in the world weighs 1,000 pounds, and the heaviest one ever recorded weighed an astounding 1,600 pounds. Unlike some hybrid animals, it would be nearly impossible to find ligers in the wild because lions and tigers don't naturally inhabit the same regions. They usually look and behave more like lions than tigers, but they do show their tiger traits such as a love for swimming and striped backs. Kama. Exactly who authorized the crossbreeding of a camel and a llama to create the first comma? And they named it comma? Oh, right, the crown prince of Dubai. Rich people can do literally anything, right? Camels weigh six times as much as llamas, so suffice it to say that artificial insemination was the only option for researchers in the United Arab Emirates. They succeeded in 1998, creating an animal they hoped would have the wool of a llama and the even temperament of a camel. To their disappointment, Kama has proven rather moody as it doesn't really listen to any of the scientists. Maybe it's because the parents don't even exist. The Holfin The first captive Holfin, Kiakamalu, was born in 1985. The hybrid animal, whose name means the peaceful sea, is a cross between an Atlantic bolt-nosed dolphin mother and a false killer whale father. While there are many instances of hybrid species, most are sterile and can't produce offspring. Kiakamalu has given birth to three calves, with one living for nine years and another surviving for just days. According to news reports, the surviving calf was born in 2005. The whole fins display characteristics that are inherent to both parents. The coloration is similar to that of Kiakamalu's killer whale father, black with gray stomach, while the rostrum has a blunted bottle shape and 66 teeth. Bottlenose dolphins have 88 teeth. The false killer whales have 88 teeth, according to Sea Life Park Hawaii, where the whole fins reside. Bottom line, this mythical creature is absolutely real. Killer bee. Killer bees, or African bees, are actually a high hybrid error. The first appeared in 1957 when a surrogate beekeeper accidentally released 26 queen Tanzanian bees in other hives on a farm in southern Brazil. The beehive belonged to the biologist Warwick E. Kerr, who intended to pair European honeybees with South African honeybees to create bee stems that are more capable of producing honey and adapting to tropical climate than European honeybees. Since launch, the killer bees have multiplied and migrated. They can now be found Found in most places in South America and North America. These bees are extremely aggressive, so they are called killer bees. When they are threatened in any way, they will launch a large number of attacks. They will sting any death threats mercilessly. Beefalo. Everyone in America remembers the 70s very vividly. A time of Afros, Nixon, and of course, the peak of American interest in beefalo. English settlers in the American South noticed genetic mixes between American bison and domestic cattle as far back as 1749. But it would be 100 years until the first intentional hybrids and more than 200 until beefalo entered the mainstream of American culture. That decade, a peak of 6,000 ranchers agreed to raise the fertile hybrid. Popularity in beefalo has diminished since, but the meat still has its fans. From 2012 to 2014, the American Royal Steak Competition rated the beefalo steak from Merrill Cattle Co. as the best in the country for the second year in a row. Typical beefalo are 37.5% bison and mostly resemble cattle. Some breeds are 50% or more bison and sometimes called cattleo. In addition, any hybrid that resembles a bison more than a cow is usually considered an exotic animal rather than livestock. Mule 
We are sure you must have heard about the mule. For those of you who haven't, a mule is the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse. Horses and donkeys are very different species with different numbers of chromosomes. Of the two F1 hybrids between these two species, a mule is easier to obtain than a hinny, the offspring of a male horse and a female donkey. All male mules and most female mules are infertile. The size of a mule depends largely on the breeding of the mule's dam. They can be lightweight, medium weight, or even, when produced from draft horse mares, of moderately heavy weight. An aficionado of the mule claims that they are more patient, hardy, and long-lived than horses, and they are considered less obstinate, faster, and more intelligent than donkeys. Isn't every animal more intelligent than a donkey? Roller Bear This is one of the few weird animal hybrids that happened without the knowledge of humans. A grizzly polar bear hybrid, also known as a Groller Bear, is a rare ursid hybrid that has occurred both in captivity and in the wild. In 2006, the occurrence of the hybrid in nature was confirmed by testing the DNA for a strange-looking bear that had been shot near Saxe Harbor in the Canadian Arctic. Ursid hybrids, a term that designates any hybrid of two species within the family of Ursa, includes several other types of polar bear hybrids. Polar bear hybrids with grizzly bear in the wild have been reported and shot in the past as well, but DNA techniques were not available to verify the bear's ancestry. Doesn't this chubby beast look cute though? We definitely want to pet him. What about you? Tegon. You would be forgiven for thinking that a Tegon should basically be the exact same animal as a Liger. After all, they're both mixes of lions and tigers. However, when a male tiger mates with a female lion, the resulting offspring is a Tigon. These chunky beasts are much smaller than Ligers, and they tend to be smaller than both their parents. They typically look more like their tiger fathers, but they possess traits from their lion mothers, such as the ability to roar and a love for socialization. Goats and cows that lactate human milk. In 2009, Russian Belarusian scientists genetically modified goats to produce human breast milk. They cannot produce 100% pure breast milk, but they managed to fill the goat with human cells to produce milk, which contains 60% of lysozymine and lactoferrin, which are characteristics of human milk. They are not the only ones doing so. Soon, a Chinese team creating soon a Chinese team created a whole herd of 300 cows to produce human milk. The goal was not to put breast milk on the shelves of grocery stores. Scientists hope to find a way to harvest breast milk to ensure that people can find opportunities in the store to buy a bottle of human milk for their families. The Russian team even announced that their human milk was made into delicious cheese. The Chinese team initially planned to produce products in stores before 2014, but their plans were pushed. They are currently trying to persuade the world that the breast milk discharged from the muscled cow is worth buying. When they succeed in doing this, you can pick up at a nearby store. Before we tune into number one, we have an honorable mention that you are most probably familiar with, but it definitely deserves to be on this list. Savannah Cat A sleek, chubby savannah cat is a cross between a domestic cat and a wild African serval. The first hybrid feline was produced during the late 1980s. However, it was made popular during the late 1990s, when breeders and cat lovers noticed the creature's sleek look and distinctive spotted pattern. In fact, the exotic look of savannah hybrids make them appear as small cheetahs. They possess long, slender bodies, leggy appendages, and a coat that looks like a wild African cat's fur. Savannas are divided into into different generations, the F1s being the most difficult to produce, as they are distinctively created by breeding wild servals and domestic cats together, while the F7 generation is a result of crossbreeding the hybrids themselves to domestic cats. However, this results in kittens that appear more like domestic house cats. Savannah cats with more serval blood can be twice as large as domestic cats, so anyone interested in owning one should do plenty of careful research. Savannah cats are extremely intelligent, loyal, and loving creatures, plus they're prized household pets. Green Sea Slug Possibly the most unusual hybrid animal on this list is the green sea slug. It is a sea slug that incorporates genetic materials from the algae it eats into its own DNA. The strange result is a plant-animal hybrid that can consume food like an animal or create its own nutrients via photosynthesis. Scientists call these sea slugs emerald green elysia. 
Their ability to turn solar energy into food is what gives them their brilliant green hue. Scientists acknowledge that they will have to do more research in order to determine how this phenomenon happens. But as of now, this is the only successful instance of a gene transfer from one type of complex organism to another. Which one of these hybrids would you like to pet? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.